So going into week three, um, I'm not gonna lie, I procrastinated a lot. Not in the aspects of actually doing the research and trying to find out what the project wanted or what was required of us from this project. It was just mostly um, actually doing it. Um, I find I found this one to be the most informative one, and I didn't know if there was such thing as press release and backgrounds and biographies. So I found that very interesting, and I actually did that. Um, I did all the reading and everything during the week, and sometimes during my time um, downtime during work, as as I'm doing now. Um, yeah, I found it extremely interesting, and I signed up for the press release. And at first, I was the only person in my team, and I didn't, I didn't, I thought I was going to be the only person in my team um, because I really wanted to just do the press release. I like, I started researching all sorts of different formats online on the internet, and there's so many different ones. And basically, what I learned is to keep it simple, and um, just come. Just keep it simple in order for newscasters or whoever you're going to release this to would actually be able to pick up your story. So that's pretty much what I was doing and I spent a lot, a lot of time trying to look for a good template, a good um, way to actually convey my press release in a, in a unique way. Um, that's pretty much what I tried, figured that I spend my time doing most of the time is just looking for the right way to actually present it and most of the time I, when I every single project that I've ever done to be honest I've done at least three rough drafts till I decide okay I'm gonna go with this one um, with this um, with this project I did start it late on a Sunday and um, it's it was basically looking for the right format to use. Actually, once I got into the whole writing, I already had my back, background down. I have all the research, all the all the stuff I want to say done during the week. Um, so that wasn't hard. Um, I love researching, as a matter of fact. But it was just trying to come up with the way to present it. Is again, I spend most of my time trying to do that, and I do more than one to. And actually, more than one project to actually be happy with what I'm going to put out as my um, project, my final project. So I did like three rough drafts, and then I decided to go with the one I submitted. And um, the same thing, I was limited to internet this weekend. And I have my laptop now, but I was limited to internet, and I need to fix, I need to get taken back take care of the whole internet being by my next course. Um, so I wrote it and I am happy with it. Um, I could have, you know, I could always do better. I am willing to learn how to do better and I will do better. I'm just learning and researching more and not spending so much time on the basic stuff and actually just doing it beforehand. I feel that doing this project, it would have been better if I hadn't procrastinated. Um, I feel that my best work comes when I'm not procrastinating. So I think that's the thing that I would change. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this course. I'm happy with everything I learned. I felt that I learned a lot. And not just getting the grades that I wanted, but also taking the information with me because it's only going to get harder after this. And I, with this course, I was waiting for it to, to come because I wanted to make sure that I actually selected the right program for me, that I selected the right path as my future career. And after this course, I can honestly say that I did. And I'm very happy with being back in school and with choosing media communications as my future profession. So yeah, pretty much I'm pretty much happy with everything. I'm happy with the grades I got and I'm happy with the way I showed my creativity and I'm happy with the communication I have with like a lot of these you know, my classmates in this course and my professor. Um, it was nice to reach out to them and actually receive a response right away. So I thank you guys for that and thank you for 
you know, the feedback and I hope that I get better. So yeah.